Welcome to MCSE TV. Now guys, yesterday evening we took on Brighton away in the Premier League and it obviously ended 1-1. Um, I'm still absolutely gutted this morning. It was just incredibly disappointing last night. Um, yeah, and I hate to say it, I do hate to say it, but I said it in my preview um, the other day. I'm not shocked. I wasn't shocked last night. I knew Brighton would just show up, you know. They've been absolutely brilliant this season. I predicted that withdrawal last night and I hate to say it, but I wasn't shocked. I was obviously really disappointed, but I wasn't shocked. Um, I just had a feeling that last night wouldn't go smoothly. Let's just say that. I just had a feeling. Um, and obviously, us Chelsea fans are absolutely gutted after last night. I mean, we obviously lost against Manchester City at the weekend. We wanted to turn it around last night, get the momentum going again, get three points. And it just wasn't meant to be. And I was just devastated last night. It honestly felt like we'd lost last night. Um, getting a point out of that game is incredibly disappointing. And I put on Twitter, it's not funny, and I'm not making a joke of it because I am absolutely gutted. And I, it's more frustration more than anything. And if I don't laugh, I'll cry. But we literally are draw FC at the moment. We literally are just drawing all our games in the Premier League. Like, when are we going to get three points again? I miss that feeling. I miss winning games. Like... Yeah, I'm just gutted. We just there was just a lack of effort last night. The players just didn't show up. Um they just weren't there for it really. Um yeah, it, it just didn't feel like we had any motivation or momentum. I know we're playing every couple of days. I know the players are tired. But you've got to put more effort in than that, haven't you? Like that was just really disappointing. There were so many mistakes last night and yeah, it just it wasn't just about getting the draw. It was about the 90-minute display we saw last night. It was just so, so disappointing, as I said. And I think that's where the frustrations are coming from. Like, where do we go from here? How are we going to improve? And we obviously took on Brighton at home in December um, in the Premier League. And obviously, we drew there as well. And I thought, surely we're going to learn from our mistakes from that game. Surely Brighton can't catch us out again. We'll see where we went wrong. And hopefully, Tuchel will come up, up with a great tactical plan. But it just wasn't meant to be last night because the players just didn't perform. They weren't there for it at all. They didn't put any effort in. And... That isn't all Tuchel's fault at all. Um, there was individuals last night that you just watched and you just thought, you don't care. You, your heart is not in this at all. Um, I'm not going to point out any certain individuals that I felt didn't put that effort in last night. But there were several where I just thought, your heart isn't in this. You don't deserve to be on that pitch. It was that bad because the, the hearts weren't into it, some of them. And, and it was just incredibly disappointing. So it will be very interesting to see how we get on against Tottenham at the weekend because we obviously take them on on Sunday at home in the Premier League. So that will be interesting. And it will be interesting to see what team Tuchel selects on the back of last night after the lack of effort from certain individuals. Um, so, yeah, obviously, let's talk about the actual game itself. Um, Hakeem obviously scored um, 28 minutes in. It was a good goal. Um, I was fairly pleased, but I knew it wasn't just going to stay at 1-0. There was no chance with the way Brighton were playing. They were just fantastic. And all credit to Brighton last night. Well done to them because they were brilliant. Like, They'll be delighted with that point, I'm sure. They could have nearly beat us, in all honesty. Um, obviously, Kepa wasn't too bad last night either. Like, I know um, Kepa's been getting a lot of criticism recently. Some fans have just been getting on his back saying, no, he's not performing very well. But I don't think he's been too bad, in all honesty. I mean, he made a good save 60 minutes in last night. But then, obviously, that came back to haunt us. Because then, obviously, Webster scored for Brighton. He was fantastic for Brighton last night. Um, credit where credit's due, he was amazing. Um, now, let's talk about the substitutions. 80 minutes in, obviously, Havertz, Werner and Kovacic replaced Jorginho, Hakim and Lukaku. For me, that was too late, making them substitutions. 80 minutes in, you've got 10 minutes left of the game. Things obviously weren't going good. We weren't showing any signs of winning the game at that point. Why did he wait for until 80 minutes in? Brighton scored 60 minutes in. 
There wasn't any signs of improvement from Chelsea from that point. Them substitutions should have been made around the 65-70 mark, in my opinion. Leaving it to eight minutes in is too late. Maybe Tuchel should have even switched it up a little bit at half-time, to be honest, because there's certain players on that pitch that didn't deserve to be out there last night. It, the lack of effort just frustrates me so, so much. So much. That's what I'm annoyed about, okay? If we'd drawn that game and hadn't played that badly, that would be okay. But the lack of effort from certain individuals last night was just appalling, you know? I was just gutted. Um, and can I just say, I tweeted this out as well. Comment down below, do you agree with me or not? But that honestly felt like a training session game last night. It had pre-season vibes written all over it. You'd have actually thought we were playing a pre-season friendly game. Or we, we were just in a training session. The lack of effort was that bad. It was so, so bad. And I feel like I'm getting so frustrated in this review because I actually really am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need to chill out. But I am so annoyed. Um, so let's talk about what Tuchel said after the game. So Tuchel was asked, are you concerned about the form? And he said, we won twice against Tottenham and some other fixtures. I don't even know the last seven games in the league, so I can't tell you that. Um, Tuchel was asked thoughts on the performance and he said, we are tired mentally and physically. You can see it in our performance. It's as easy as that. Tuchel was also asked, triple change too late? I personally thought it was. But Tuchel said, if I had the impression we needed it earlier, I would have done it earlier. You never know, we could have done it earlier, but we had to wait to see if Brighton changes their structure. Marcos was on a yellow card, so that is why we decided to do it then. And then Tuchel was also asked about Lukaku's performance last night. And he said, I don't want to talk about single questions. There are too many questions about Lukaku and too many answers about Lukaku. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's what Tuchel obviously said after the game. You could tell he was incredibly disappointed too. I mean, understandably so. Um, and he can't get the blame for that last night. Like, honestly, I just, as I said, I just felt like certain players' hearts weren't into it. And I'm not blaming them. Maybe maybe it's tiredness, maybe it is. But when you're a Chelsea player, when you go on that pitch and wear that Chelsea shirt, you've got to put your 100% everything into it. And if you aren't doing that, you don't deserve to be on the pitch. Simple as that. <laughs> and I don't feel like 100% effort was shown from every player on that pitch last night. So that is why I'm so annoyed. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, we move on to Tottenham at home on the weekend. I am actually really worried about that game. Because that's obviously our big rival. We obviously beat them in the cup, but now we need to beat them on Sunday. And I've just got a feeling that we might not show up. But who knows? We always step up for big games. Let's just say that. So fingers crossed, it all goes smoothly. But I just don't know if it will. I'm just so frustrated after that last night. I need to chill out. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below all your match thoughts. What did you think went wrong last night? Did you think all the players put their effort in last night? Because I certainly didn't. I just thought there was a real lack of effort there in all honesty. Let me know what you thought. And guys, I will see you all on the weekend for my Tottenham preview and review. Um, lots more content coming from me. So stay tuned and up the channels. Onwards and upwards, hey. Thanks.